Oh my god. Anyway. This entire sheet of paper was somehow shoved into like this little section here. Yeah, I, I, I should have filmed the unfolding of it. It was amazing. Anyway, we are here. Hi, I'm Zeos Pantera, the host of Inner Fetish. And we're here with the Klein Tools AES-EB1. And you got to know that number because when you pair it to your phone, it is not Klein. It is AES-EB1. And you wouldn't know that because that's the only... I literally had to like freak out. Like, where the hell is this thing? I'm trying to pair it for 20 minutes. So it's like, oh, there it is. There, It's that, that number. So, yeah. Another job site or... Um, I did the Milwaukee True Wireless. You should come out and order. I'm, I'm just... Uh, Milwaukee, I, I got I shit on the Milwaukee's quite a bit because they're two hundred dollars. But man, did they have a simplicity thing of just opening the case and you could read what they did? This is had this section here is what I needed to read in English. Everything else is not English. Just this section's English, and I really only needed this amount. Okay, let's. Okay, these sound. I was start off. Uh, these sound incredibly better than the Milwaukee's. All right, I am usually a Milwaukee fanboy. I've even left some of the tools out. Um, I do own at least one or two Klein things. Klein Tools, as someone who's been doing like installs for a long time, my father did installs. Klein was the company that made the expensive shit that was like overpriced. You can go to Sears and buy the shitty Craftsman thing. You got the Klein one, and that was nice. So I bought the Klein one. It was $69 to compare against that, to compare against the DeWalt, which is still coming up. I haven't heard the DeWalt yet. I'm, I'm listening in order so I can have, like, a surprise. Um, the case, if you remember the case, if you haven't seen... Oh, fuck, it's like going to the toilet, you need a newspaper. The case for Milwaukee was this. This is the case for the Klein. So, much smaller. Not using the lithium thing. It's just a standard IM case. Little waterproof door. Charge USB-C. It's got some nice fucking words in the bottom. It says nom, 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 nom. It's got texture here. It's got a release button to open the top. Look at those LEDs are awesome looking. Like legit, if this was just a normal true wireless, right? that's awesome looking. When you close it, it tells you the case. Two greens, an amber, and a red, so you know what your shit's at. And this is very pocketable. The IMs themselves, I'll pull them out of my ear holes, are much smaller than the Milwaukee IMs. Uh, they share very similar problems. 50% more battery life than the Milwaukee. So the Milwaukee were bigger. It lasted 10 hours. These are smaller and last 15 hours. These also get louder, which is going to come into it. Because the Milwaukee's, I, I didn't hark on it enough. They, I had them at maximum volume and they were sort of like just okay. It was like, okay. These I thought were going to max out. I maxed out my phone and then it turns out they have internal volume control. Thank you, giant piece of paper which I was unable to press. And here's another fucking thing that's coming. I don't know. I will see if the DeWalt has the same problem where this is a physical button, not a touch, not a, not a little like gentle tap or, or, or swipe. This is a rubber coating. And in there is a fucking button. So that makes it even worse than the Milwaukee. Nice. I approve of that, but why did it happen? Hold on. Let's go back to Birdman. Put on, put on... Is it playing? Let's see if I press that in. Was it double press to pause? Yeah, it's double press. So you can't even just like jam your finger in your ear to pause it. You gotta double jam your finger in your ear. And you press and hold for next track. So you press and hold it in your ear, and it's not a light touch. Like I wish I need a scale. I feel like if I was gonna do enough IM reviews, which I do, I would have like a like a like you know when you test a gun, you ever we all watch gun reviews, right? They have a, a special tool that they put on to test the trigger pull strength. Is it a five pound pull? Is it a 15 pound pull? Is it like a half a pound pull? So they just pull around it. I need something, I, I mount this on like a middle, big block and I just push it. And I could tell you, that's like a four pound press that you gotta jam it into your fucking head. Secondly, the tips are also this little small motherfucker because all of these are trying to do, um, they're trying to be, they're succeeding at it, but they're noise protection, they're hearing protection. So you could use your saws and you could use your drills and you could be on a job site. 
These, however, unlike the more expensive Milwaukee's, are not an active um, noise canceling. They are just passive. So you get these basically legitimately, they're just ear plugs for like working on something. They bored out a hole in them. You get this weird nozzle that's really small, which prevents me from using tips I would enjoy. You got to get it the fuck on there. It's a slow acting memory foam, so it's going to expand again. Um, I tell you what, it's it's pretty nice as far as like looks and feel. I might keep these because guess what? They fucking sound good. They sound good. The biggest problem with the there there's two things I'd like to say. Number one, you can't fucking change the button. The button is annoying. Holding it in my hand and not in my head, the button is hard to press, to pause. Or next track. So imagine that shoved in your ear. The tips, it actually goes pretty deep, which I think is a detriment for me personally. There is a blinking LED on here, by the way. A little tiny one right, right there. The lightest little blue flash. Like the little baby blue flash. It's like, ooh, wee, boop. Um, the fact that these last 15 hours is pretty impressive. But now that I've got the... Uh, I'm trying to get this one sealed right. Hold on. Yeah, another thing is because the tip is so big and the unit is so small, like the, the Milwaukee one had like a ring and a wing so you could like get it to perfectly fit. So when you're smashing that button, it didn't move around much. These fuckers are tiny. So when I got to push that button, it's like, eh, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to be like, here, eh, no, here. Here's where you fit prep. Eh. They do come with different tips. There are silicone tips they come with, which I haven't tried. I'm I'm in it for the foam. It comes with six foams. It comes with six f silicones. Uh, it comes with a USB cable that is nowhere near as nice as the Milwaukee one, which I put over there, I think. It's just, this is a cheaper unit. It's cheaper. That said, because you can't turn off and do job site aware mode, they're probably more dangerous to be, like, out and about while, who was it, Jared? Who was the guy that was going to go, Jimmy? Jimmy was going to crash the, the uh, loader. So Jimmy is going to fucking kill you, and you're not going to know it. Or you're not going to hear the guy screaming. And then I found out I could turn the volume up, which is... it. Oh. Let's go back to this convenient to, to read menu. Not the warnings, obviously. So yeah, yeah, volume up and down is a short press of the left and right. Right is up, is the, the short press is up. So you got to jam your ear multiple times to get it to go up. Jam your ear on the left to go down. And then previous next track are holds. And then play pause is a double press, which is annoying. I need to keep this in case I sell it. I got to figure out I'm going to fucking jam that back in the packaging. Now that I've got to playing, they are the same AAC codec. They claim Bluetooth 5.0, which I think they're doing that more for efficiency because it's still AAC. It's not aptX or LDAC. But I'm legitimately impressed about how these sound well, they're big and they have good low one that isn't like farty bass can fart 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 doot 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 you know these are an enjoyable to listen to experience oh, oh my, my feet are like moving from the bass a little bit treble sharpness but i am absolutely blasting them they're at the loudest level they'll go i don't want to hear that forklift coming behind me i just want to be killed instantaneously as it crashes into me and then stops and then the, the fucking pallet it's holding falls off and i'm crushed by a million pounds of bricks and it's fine it's fine Shh, audio file shit's about to happen so once they're in, if you're not going to touch them to adjust something, which you're going to want to do anyway, but if you're not going to, they're really comfortable. Big, fat foam tips. They're very good at producing sound. Like, I, I had my hopes up for the Milwaukee because they're expensive. They're Milwaukee. Everyone's a buzz about them. These sound twice as good as the Milwaukee's, and they last 50% longer. And they're smaller, which is either a benefit or a detriment, depending on what we're talking about. Yeah, I'd recommend... You know what? 
Other than these fucking buttons, I can't get over the buttons. If you can get over the buttons, here I'm gonna pause. Wait, I can. Om they're so small and they stick out of my ear so far. I can actually, while it's mounted in my ear, get my pointer, my fat fucking finger pointer, over it here to grab while it's in my ear playing, which is kind of an interesting thing. This is where the, the genius of the stupid AirPods, Apple Air, AirPods, with the stick. Because guess where the stick is? Not in my ear. I just have to diddle with something below my ear and the side of my ear. The best system, obviously, being the Sony um, Link Buds 1. Not Link Buds 2. Link Buds 1, where you just tap the skin in front and it detected that. It, like, could detect there was motion there and you were just controlling it by touching your skin. That shit came out two years ago. Klein Tools or anybody. Could someone else pick that shit up or did they lock it behind all sorts of... Um, patents and like oh you gotta that's a hundred million dollars if you want to use that technology thanks sony you're really helping improve the world by locking to shit that you're never going to use again behind one product you own i fucking hate copyrights and lawyers and people owning things like it's a great idea you get it for like two years then it's it's our turn you really do need to get the seal though or they sound like ass but now that i've got the seal once it's right once it's clean Listening to the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack, I'm even going to lower it here. A crooked cat. A checkered cat, not a crooked cat. Ooh, that's real loud. Thank God I lowered that. They're actually not as good low volume because it's such a small tube the air is coming through. Like, it's forcing the sound. I'm going to do this in every video so people can just make gifts out of it. It's actually forcing the sound through such a small tube that if you don't have the volume up, it just sort of fades away. You're not moving enough air pressure. So you basically, they sound really good if you're blasting them, which on a job site you wouldn't want to be doing. But then again, because these are, I think, 28 dB of attenuation, which is actually greater than the Milwaukee's again. But it's mostly due to the tips being just massive fucking foam things. So I'm gonna give the I'm I'm honestly gonna give the Klein tools a pass. The, the Milwaukee's I do not recommend as much as they're cool because they match all my tools. I would not. The Klein tools, however, I love the case. I love the little release button. It's got a little decibel rating here that's just put into the plastic. It says max, it says 85 dBA, and then and it was describing it in here. And I'm like, but there's no LEDs to tell you what the environment is. It's not like this is measuring the dBs. So you just you put that there, and it's like, look. The end. Look. There you end. It's a pretty basic standard, I think. Oh, and there's magnets, by the way, to hold this. Crazy strong. You, like, throw it from across... The Damn it. I almost had that. Are you going to play this fun game? Come on, Dios. You're doing this on camera. This is not easy. This is a drunk person game. Oh, you fucker. Well, hold on. All right, never mind. Anyway, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I think there was. Is it a waterproof case? There's no seal around it. It'd be cool if it was a... Like, it's waterproof back here, but there's no rubberized seal around this. So the reason... It latches just to keep the top from opening. They could have done that with a magnet. If this was a sealed, like, submersible thing, that would be another bullet point. But that would cost more than $69. So, yeah, Klein Tools didn't fuck around with the sound quality. But I love... They say improved audio, which... Uh, from the previous one, I didn't know there was a previous one. These actually sound good. So, so far, these... Are beating it. They, they still have that fucking physical button problem. But fucking physical buttons. I should just have to tap and just just touch, just touch, just just touch, and then it should just play next, and then it should be fine. But yeah, now these you can find on Amazon for sixty nine ninety seven. A hundred button lot, three point five stars. You know what? Let's look at some of the ratings because those are always fun. Barely charges. That's a one star. That's interesting. Good four star. Was not disappointed. Already lost one earbud. He had him for six months. 
I work in a funeral and jam out while working. So he says, good, gave it four stars, lost one, doesn't explain why he took the star away. One year review, two stars. Sound quality is poor uh, compared to other brands. I'd love to know what he's listening to because I think it's pretty fucking good compared to other brands. Uh, Pod's not charging the case. Right will not take a charge. Left is it in a mitten, so he's getting charge issues. Works well. Battery life isn't great, though. Anywhere near 15 hours, three hours before the low battery. Wow. Wow. Um, through before I got low battery warning on the tractor bush hogging this morning. This guy was tractor bush hogging with them. So, you know, he means a waste of money. Left one stopped working. But then you get to the ones that are like, excellent. Tres bone reception por pasar. That wasn't in English. These are actually like the lowest rated of the three. Well, the well, I've skipped off the Caterpillar ones. But yeah, the Milwaukee ones, I don't have any ratings at the DeWalt ones. I'm getting to those next. 4.3 stars, 1,100 ratings. The Klein tools, only 295 ratings. Klein isn't a Klein is a is a tool company you know if you know tools. You ask my mother if this is a brand and she won't have a clue. But you show her a DeWalt logo or even Milwaukee logo and she'll probably know, yeah, that's a tool. So Klein is for the for the upper echelon of tool enthusiasts. It's it's right underneath that um what's the fucking Snap on. I'm sure if they made one, it'd be seven hundred dollars, and you'd only get to replace the air tips by by Snap on. And then there's a German brand who makes like drills and screwdrivers that are like insanely expensive. I think it starts with an M. Anyway, you guys will talk about it in the comments. Anyway, I'm moving on. I'm going to try the Dewalt ones next because the Klein Tool ones actually impressed me sound wise. If they hold up as far as battery life and everything, they're built really well. And you know they're not built by, like, Klein Tools. They obviously found a a place in China that was making these and said, put our name in it, and here's what we want you to change and how we want you to make it look. Because it looks like a little toolbox. It looks like a little toolbox. All right, wallpaper, wallpaper, horde. Patreon, subscribe, so support this channel. And don't forget to check out my public Z reviews. If you go to my link tree, you get to all my Twitter, Instagram, public Telegram. There's a, a private one in the $10 tier from my Patreon and subscribe star. You do all the things. Do all the things. i got to keep moving. Keep moving. Uh, I didn't change the desk mat. Fuck. I can't do it again. I gotta change that desk mat. Even though I like this one. Bob Ross is really good. We'll link to that as well.